Russia studying captured intact US ATACMS missile guidance system. The Russians have announced the capture of an intact ATACMS missile guidance system which the US supplies to Ukraine. The corresponding video is published by the state agency RIA Novosti. The video shows a Russian weapons expert with his face covered examining a component he says is part of the downed ATACMS missile. The expert claims that the captured equipment will allow Russia to study exactly how the American missiles, which can hit targets at a distance of up to 300 kilometers, are controlled during flight. The video shows inscriptions on individual elements of the unit that the Russian expert is talking about. In particular, the words ATACMS and US Army Redstone Arsenal Alabama are visible on them. However, at the time of this publication, independent experts have neither confirmed nor denied that the device shown by the Russians is actually part of the ATACMS missile and not a dummy created for propaganda. As reported, this spring, the US secretly sent Ukraine long-range versions of the ATACMS missile. The first batch involved at least 100 units. After that, the Ukrainian armed forces repeatedly struck Russian military facilities with these missiles. In particular, it is believed that Ukraine uses ATACMS missiles to destroy valuable air defense installations used by Russia. For example, in May, the Ukrainian armed forces destroyed a Russian S-400 anti-aircraft missile system in the Mospine area of Donetsk Oblast. Similar strikes were carried out on air defense systems in Crimea. However, Kyiv is only permitted to use ATACMS against occupied or annexed areas, not territory internationally recognized as part of Russia. Crimea, which Moscow annexed from Ukraine in 2014, is considered a legitimate target for long-range Western-supplied weapons by Kyiv's backers. Russian authorities said that Ukrainian ATACMS strikes on Sevastopol, a key base for its Black Sea fleet on the western edge of Moscow-controlled Crimea, on June the 23rd had killed four people. Four cluster variant ATACMS missiles were shot down by air defenses around the city, Russia's defense ministry said, and the fifth missile deviated from the flight path and detonated the warhead in the air over the city territory. Cluster munitions, often dubbed bomblets, fell toward the city, Moscow said. Footage widely circulated online appeared to show Sevastopol beachgoers fleeing from the Utkuyevka area of the coastline. Mykhailo Podolyak, an advisor to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, said in a post to X that Crimea was a large military camp and warehouse with hundreds of direct military targets, which the Russians are cynically trying to hide and cover up with their own civilians. There are not and cannot be any beaches, tourist zones and other fictitious signs of peaceful life on the peninsula, he said. Hurricane Barrel strengthened to Category 5 status after it ripped doors, windows and roofs off homes across the Barbados, southeastern Caribbean with devastating winds and storm surge fueled by the Atlantic's record warmth. This hurricane brought devastation to the Windward Islands, where at least one person is dead. Its intensity also marks just the second time an Atlantic hurricane has reached Category 5 status in July after Emily did so on July 17, 2005, according to the National Hurricane Center. Fluctuations in strength are likely during the next day or so, but Beryl is expected to still be near major hurricane intensity as it moves into the Central Caribbean and passes near Jamaica, the National Hurricane Center said. Beryl made landfall on the island of Cariaco in Grenada as the earliest Category 4 storm in the Atlantic, then the National Hurricane Center in Miami said its winds had increased to Category 5 strength. Fluctuations in strength, and later a significant weakening, were forecast as the storm pushes further into the Caribbean in the coming days. In Grenada, about 95% of the island has lost power due to Hurricane Beryl, Nila Etienne, press secretary for the office of the Prime Minister, told CNN. Telecommunications across Grenada are down, and some individuals have lost internet service, Etienne explained. All schools and business are closed, including the airport, the secretary said, adding only hospitals and the national police force are currently operational. The airport reported a sustained wind speed of 92 miles per hour and a gust of 121 miles per hour according to the National Hurricane Center. Beryl's arrival marks an exceptionally early start to the Atlantic hurricane season.